The Church of Genius is based on me. It's a clever distortion and entertainment on my stuff. Right, because it's, basically you understand that it's all meaningless anyway. Yeah, we're quark particles, quantum particles. We, we only last a few seconds. Like this show right now on this blog talk radio is what? 20 other ones going on right now, right? Oh, it's probably like, thousands. Yeah, a thousand of them. <laughs> I mean, nobody is listening. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Nobody's listening, and, but the, that happened, you know, 40 years ago. McLuhan writes in the, in his exploration journal in the mid 50s. Is anybody listening? I mean, he saw that way back then. Finnegan's Wake is a book based on no one listening, no one reading, and to and to yeah. see that is important to understand that. Yeah. Anyways, I go on there with no quote discarded ego, but I have I can explain. Where we all disappeared to. So Nardwar can yell and scream and be silly, but I'll just keep on putting on a coherent message, regardless of the distraction. And the message it, it will not be received, but I can say it, and I'm still saying it. I like B Park's line. I'm not really here. I just hang around for my friends. So I'm not really here. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just here to provide content for you. So, so you know, he he was he was the dog, and you're pretty good there. Well, I mean, uh, based on what? Uh, nobody can dog me successfully because I keep showing up. You can't get rid yeah, of me. Well, it's like that Nardwar interview. Nardwar tried to dog you, and I mean, he, he it didn't work. I mean, it, it was weak. That's right. It they was like think, a... you know what happened to Nardwar? That, that interview with Nardwar is legendary in the counterculture radio world. That's where a lot of people hear from me, uh, hear about me from that, that interview. Because That's a good interview, were, Bob. You you kicked okay. ass. Yeah, no, it's excellent. And you know what happened to him? He went on to become a regular on CBC National TV. He had a little gig on there. He, he got out of the counterculture ghetto. I don't know what happened to him today or where he is today, but he actually achieved a certain level of professionalism. I don't know. Wow. I never saw him. Yeah, so he went on. But what's fantastic, the point there is that they think they're talking to somebody who has an image of themselves. And I'd say, okay, I'll act silly and bug them. They don't know that I don't give a damn what we're doing because it's all content. They believe in their content. I don't believe in any of the content that, we're, that I'm projecting on a show or anything. So therefore, I cannot be toppled. I don't have any vulnerability. Yeah, that's, See, that's, I, that's brilliant. That's right. There's, no, e there's no ego. There's no ego. That's right. Let's call it no investment in the discarnate body. That's right. And the thing is that the truth of genius is based on me. It's a clever distortion and entertainment on my stuff. But if you find me, then you get what they're talking about. You know, that's it. You do get it in new ways that aren't in the cliche versions of black. People, that's another thing about Church of Jesus. They market or present images, or people who join the church have to work through images of what conventional slack looks like. And that ain't, it can't be, that's only chemical body slack. What about the other three bodies? What kind of slack comes from the chip body and the TV body? How do you do it? Exactly. How about acid body? I mean, if ion is who it says it is, you could hear whatever, the voice of heaven talking at my church which is whatever radio show has me on, like Evan. That's what I'm, and I'm going to be listening to that as soon as we get done tonight. That's right, go right for, as McLuhan used to tell his students, go right for God first. Go straight for God. <laughs> <laughs> so Bob, Bob, we've got 22 minutes left, huh? 22 minutes. Okay. 